So we're here at ODOT Sign Shop, the only sign shop at ODOT, which means they make every single sign by hand that you see on the highways. There are three different ways they make signs here. The first type of method is printing, and this is the newest way to make signs here. They are the signs that we may only need a few of, or signs with a lot of words. Employees use a software program to design the signs with the wording and dimensions, and then send it directly to the printer. Once the signs are printed, they are cut apart, the backing is removed, and then they are placed on the aluminum sheet. And if the signs aren't printed, then we start the silk screen process, just like this operation right behind me. The first step for silk screening is putting the reflective material on the sheets of aluminum. And then we go from there to here to be silk screened. The sheets are laid underneath the screen, which has a design of the sign. Ink is then poured on top of the screen and an employee spreads the ink all the way across the sign. And just like that, a sign is made. Hey, and our last type of sign here is the extrusion sign. These are the type of huge, massive signs you see all over the freeway. All the letters, numbers, and symbols, they're all put on by hand by my dude right here who got crazy skills. Their process starts off a little like silk screening. The extrusion signs are made using 12-inch aluminum panels, which are first run through this machine that puts the reflective material on it. After they are cut down the correct width of the sign, they are going to get stacked on top of each other and bolted together. Once the panels are bolted together, the sign is laid flat where an employee places each number, letter, symbol, and border all by hand. So the next time you're cruising down the highway and see one of our signs, just remember, they're all handmade right here by some amazing people at the ODOT Sign Shop. Who knew?